who's down on the red side. Thanks, Freak. And yes, I am with Inox, the Cassidin from that last game. First game in the LCS, first victory. Are you relieved, excited? What's your emotion like after this game? Um, really relieved. We didn't know <laughs> we didn't know what to expect coming into this because uh, we actually haven't played with Trashy for about two weeks. He's been doing his visa, so we came to this not having any practice at all with him. We had a jungle sub, and things were re looking really shaky with our jungle sub. But once Jonas got back, everything just kind of fell into place, and luckily we were able to get the win today and pull off what we wanted. You say no practice. I mean, did you get a single scrim with Trashy when he came back to do play to date? Nothing at all. Nothing. So how, what was the synergy like not playing with him for two or three weeks when you go right into an LCS game? Was it a strange start or anything? Um, in the LCS game, it, it felt pretty normal. Like, we played, to be, to, uh, we played together the whole challenger scene. We, like, had that good synergy. But then this morning, it was pretty rough. We uh, lost two games of solo queue to body drop when we were duo queuing. So he, he beat me with Echo. Wow. Echo, who can blame you? But, but honestly, you've been in the LCS before on Evil Geniuses. This time, much different. Different role, different team. What was it like picking Kasten now, getting to play your champion in the LCS? Uh, it feels like it's just what I should have been doing from the start. I always wanted to play mid lane, and I actually started off playing top lane, just filling for teams. And then my filling for teams went on and on and on. And then it's like, oh, wait, you're filling for this team for top lane that you kind of stuck with it. And now EG wants you top lane, but you're still kind of like filling it. All right. Yeah. yeah. Well, now one victory today. To go 2 0 on the week, you have to defeat TSM. Any previews or thoughts heading into that match you guys have tomorrow? I think winning today is definitely a good confidence boost. Maybe we can just win just off of. Uh, What's the word? I'm losing. <laughs> yeah, Camp Dyrus. Maybe. <laughs> um, well, I mean, th we did get a win today. They did get a loss today. Maybe this just like says things for tomorrow. Maybe we can go in and just like roll through, be like, yeah, we won yesterday, and this stage stuff is easy. But then I, TSM, whenever I watch them play against uh, the bottom tier teams, I mean, technically we're a bottom tier team right now, they play a lot more comfortable and just on point. They don't really make those mistakes that they kind of do at other times. Not that they make many mistakes. They're a really good team. All right. Well, best of luck tomorrow. Congratulations again on the win today. Nice start in the LCS, by the way, for the new team. Okay. Thanks a lot, Inox. And let's send it back to the guys at the desk. Thank you, Jet. And to Inox, you're not a bottom tier team. You're number one now. Number one, baby. With that <laughs> win, they move up into the top half of the standings there. You know, a quick breakdown of that game, the things I want to look at are kind of twofold, right? So on the side of gravity, we I would have to say they had the better macro play, the rotational play, whereas enemy looked like they were a little bit slower around the map this time around. Yeah, they are giving up a lot of turrets. Gravity was doing a really good job of controlling the jungle. And if you watch that game back and just check jungle vision, despite having two sight stones, Trashy was not getting adequate vision down past the river to see the moves of gravity before they happened. It's like five people are top and it's like, wait a second, how are there five people top? They kill flares and then they get a turret and Otter's like, well, I guess I have to go bottom. And then it's like, we're, they're doing Baron now and they had to pull people all the way from bottom lane there. So they're just being moved around the map very, uh, in a very inefficient way. So yeah, it was enemy, lethargic. Enemies, it was yeah, inefficient. Yeah, and they seemed pretty lazy to objectives. They did get every dragon, though. That's right. the other thing, is they kept winning team fights near dragon and getting it with just solo otter every now and then. So that was kind of like the plus side for them as these dragons were falling into their lap off of team fights. Right, so some of that could probably be attributed to the fact that they hadn't been playing with Trashy for a few weeks, so the vision control he, he and the communication like around himself. the vision wasn't quite there. Yeah. Uh, someone else who I didn't think had a fantastic showing was Flares seemed to struggle in that 1v1 up against Hecarim in the top lane. However, now I move to the people who did show up and play very well. Inox in the mid lane, a 4-1 very early on that Kassin, making a statement with the 11-minute Roa on the Kassin, as well as Otter on the Vein, okay. saying, look at me, I can play vain and you know carry through in the late game i mean with fizz diving in on you every single time quick with the quick silver sash and the heels to you know to live through the initial burst and then ro roll through the rest of the team yeah and this team when i watch them in challenger every lane has carry potential sometimes flares carry sometimes inox trash he has jungle games where he'll just go off on rek'sai and otter was the one who didn't carry as frequently so it's good to see a carry game from him to really kind of just nail that home that this is a team that has multiple threats and despite having a hecarim and a fizz going after him it, they didn't always seem on the same page on the side of uh, gravity. They were always like, let's protect Altec. Altec will deal the damage. And instead of having Fizz, the Nunu, trying to slow the attack speed of the mm -hmm. vein, as well as getting the Hecarim and Fizz into that backline, 
you saw some fights where it was like only Hecarim went. And then it's like, all right, final hour, time to get my fifty, my sixty percent crit off and tumble crit people for seven hundred damage over and over again. He like two shot, three shot Altec at one point with two crits. Absolutely, and just opened the game wide up. Those were the team fights they were winning, though. Yeah, I do have to say, I think they were hindered a little bit by the fact that they had the new new that was never going to get to the vein. So in those late game team fights, it was between Fizz and Hecram to get there. And then, as you said, sometimes just didn't sync up for that kill. Last thing about enemy here is moving into tomorrow. They are facing up against TSM, as Jad said. That's going to be a real test for them. We saw TSM drop a game to C9 today, but I'm not. Not sure that that's they're going to let that happen again. You know, TSM is going to come in out for blood this time around. Yeah, the thing I'm going to look at when that matchup happens is jungle mid lane synergy. Trashy and Ox were really good in Challenger, and then Santorin and Bjergs and the Great Danes. How are they going to go up against this duo? Because that's really the first really big test for Inox. How good of a mid laner is this guy? Because we saw him up against Keen. He was pretty convincing today, mm -hmm. but I want to see him up against Bjergsen and what he can bring to the table. Trashy did not look up to form. He's usually a very aggressive jungler. He's usually a very good team fight jungler. He was not hitting Sejuani ultimates today, and Santorin was also kind of having a wishy-washy day. So I want to see what happens when these teams clash. All right, well, with that, we're one day into the summer split, and let's see how the teams are arranged in the standings. Right now, the league is split right down the middle between the haves and have not sharing first with one win apiece are cloud nine clg enemy esports team impulse and liquid now the five teams that are looking to get on the board still are gravity teammate team dignitas team dragon knights and tsm so even though it is a small sample size let's take a step back Give me your thoughts on the LCS now as a whole after day one. We've had we've watched every team play once. Let's make wild uh, inferences. Cloud9's the greatest as, team. <laughs> as, to, as to how good these teams actually are. Uh, I do have to say I was impressed by Cloud9 uh, and, yeah. their, and their patience in the game. Uh, Incarnation showing a little bit of nerves uh, on the land setting, uh, missing a lot of uncontested CS. I mean, he was pressured a lot by Bjergsen, sure, but there was CS in there he should have been hitting that he wasn't. But the team as a whole showed a lot of composure and patience in getting him to the power spike and then playing the rest of the map correctly to get that win. And if that's the only problem you're having is, oh, it's my first game on land and I'm missing some CS because I'm nervous and I got level two pressured. Bjergsen got Raptors for level two over me. I got a jungle gank and blew my flash early. Like That is probably the best problem to have if you're going to have a problem is I'm just a little nervous on land. That comes with time, that comes with doing it more and more, and then eventually he's just going to be this guy who's very calm, collected, and can execute those aggressive plays that he wants to. So he seems very motivated, and I think Cloud9 definitely look really, really good with, with Incarnation. Like They're just going to look better and better. His team fighting, his ultimates were really good. There were some hiccups, but that's about it. Yeah. And those are just coming in and being like, oh, they don't have a shot caller, who's the shot caller Medios is. That's like so far, that's like A-plus for a first day. Yeah, on the flip side of that matchup, TSM, somewhat disappointing that they had such a fantastic lead. Bjergsen's, you know, 80 CS up at one point, and they're not able to close that win out. I mean, this only adds to the pressure of having come out of MSI with a disappointing showing. Yeah, and TSM, they really they need this win tomorrow over enemy. They really just have to study up today, watch that game from enemy. And they do have rotational play, which enemy seem to fall behind on today. And they could exploit Trashy because they haven't played with him too much for very late, very lately. Like, uh, it's just one of those things. I don't know if Trashy's like jet lagged or anything right now either, because he just seemed very sluggish and they did not seem on top of their game. So I think that TSM, they definitely would need to pull out that victory tomorrow. I do want to see them, because Dyrus is once again first blood. Right? I want to see them put resources in that top lane. I want to see that top lane carry happen. One day. One day it will happen. Well, anyway, tomorrow we'll be back with another five games to kick off our first week of action, starting with Team Liquid squaring off against Team 8. After that, Team Dignitas will challenge Cloud9 and will conclude the day with Team Dragon Knights versus Gravity. That all gets underway starting at noon Pacific, 9 p.m. Central European Summertime. Now for myself, the casters, and the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. It feels like just yesterday we're here for the playoffs here between Cloud9 and TSM, and every time we start the split, same as old as... That Ludens hit coming out as well. They're going to wipe down Team Solo mid here. Bjergsen very low, can only do a few things from the outside. Cloud9 pick up the first win of the summer split. That's going to be one, two, three, possibly a fourth here coming in. Looking for the pentakill from Hamlet. Yeah, He's going to find Ladman. Ladman hops over the wall. Team Liquid takes down Team Dragon Knights for the first win. Back at a 
LTS boys, the dream. Hey man. This I'm is like, what hey, what's about. up, hello? We can walk forward. I'm on yeah, set. 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 Arrow set. set. Arrow set. Arrow set. Arrow set. Arrow set. Arrow set. Come back. Come back. Wait. Wait. Five seconds on the pole. Five seconds on the pole. Hecker's gonna home guard. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. CLG takes down Team Dignitas. Not in a great way anymore. Impact putting out a whole bunch. The Naruto is massive. Hits two. Hops the wall. A triple kill for Salushi. Did you know it's time for a true display of skill? To the front line, all in a really bad spot, gets taken out. Otter is still alive, he catches move, a double cut for the Cassidy. That is an ace. Congratulations, that'll be eSports.